All right, welcome back to Beck. Just got in this new washer piece uh, yesterday. So I'm gonna swap it over to the housing today, throw it back in the washer, and be done. So let's check a new one, make sure it does come with the new ring, which you can kind of see it there. there. Got them three holes, just it'll go on the outside, and then apparently there's no screw on that middle hole. Alright. Alright, so here we are. Got the new pump ready to go. There's a little tray of parts. I'm going to throw it back in there. You know, reversal. It's pretty much the uh, insulation is just pretty much the same as the insulation, just pretty much reversal of the disassembly. I'm struggling today. <laughs> it's been a long week. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to slap that back in. Point out anything that's weird to line up or get together. So, I did have to refer back to my video to see about those connectors, which one went where. And basically, however it mounts, the one going straight up and down, that's the black lead. So, black's on the bottom as it mounts. That's a lot easier than the other way. Look at this pump, you got that little rib up there, and there's a notch in the rubber hose, so just line that up. Remember that little gray tab right there in the center connects to that little tab sticking off there. And you're probably going to wonder what those bolts go into that hold that down. There's little captured nuts or whatever under here, and this one was spinning, so I held, had to hold it together with pliers, so that piece right there. So you can reach it from the outside. I saw my screws. Uh, all of them look the same length except that one right there looks to be a little bit longer. Not much. So that one's going to go in this little plastic piece for the drain. And look into it, this back panel real quick. These tabs are obviously longer than what the bottom ones are. So stick the top ones in first. And then disregard what I said about the longest screw going in there. I'm just going to go in this clamp right up here. There's a hole. So, yeah. See how much thicker that is? So, now I swap out your other screw for the small one. Put the longer screw up there. Hook it back up. Should be done. And after you're done, you look down and see this plastic cover. And then remember, it goes around the pump. Well,. <laughs> That's where you're going to edit the video for the words you're about to use. Ah! You can either pull that back apart, or you can take a real good look and see the cover it has to cover one side, and it can only go on the left there. So, fish that in. So actually, that longer piece sits on top as it, the pump is mounted in there. So rotate that up and throw your panel back on again. Before you finish sliding in, go ahead and take a moment to observe the washer soap that one of your children, who will remain nameless, has dropped on the floor under there and is dried now. So, connect your lines up, make sure you don't have a leak, and then when you do, tighten it up, repeat until said leak is fixed. Hypothetically, of course. Whatever you do, don't over tighten it on these plastic things, because that would suck. You ever test? It locks the door on these things. Oh, she's spinning. Just trying to sense a weight. Which there's nothing in there, so this could be entertaining. A few moments later. It stopped weighing. Oh, there we go. Alright, next time. Thanks for watching.